Hello. So this week we're reading Leonardo, The Terrible Monster by Mo Wilms. And today we're going to be talking about how characters can change. So I want you to think about what we learned about Leonardo at different points in the story. So I went ahead and did the beginning part um, of the story to tell you about Leonardo. So here's Leonardo, kind of. He kind of looks like Leonardo. I'll look past Miss Mitchell's drawing. Um, and at the beginning of the story, here's some things I know about Leonardo. And I can... I can look back in the story and find evidence from the story. I can listen to the story again and find text evidence. That's what good readers do to, to prove my thinking throughout the story. So if you were um, if you were going to tell me why, I want you to be able to prove it from using the words of the story. So Leonardo in the beginning was a terrible monster. That's what I wrote right here. That he was a terrible monster, and I know that because it tells me right here on the page, Leonardo was a terrible monster. So in the beginning, he was a terrible monster. Um, he couldn't scare anyone, so he was trying to be scary, and I know that because he says, Leonardo tried very hard to be scary. This page right here tells me. Then it says, but he wasn't. He just wasn't. All right, so it also shows me, if I can infer this, remember, good readers can look at a page and kind of see. He was kind of sad about that and, and probably pretty lonely because he didn't fit in with all the other monsters. So I wrote that right here, that he was probably lonely. So at the beginning of the story, Leonardo was terrible. He was trying to be scary and he was a lonely. I want you to think about how Leonardo changed towards the end of the story. So how did he go from being terrible monster scary or trying to be scary and lonely how did he change from the beginning to end i'm going to read you just a few little pages and see how you can come what you can come up with so i'm going to show you this picture leonardo made a very big decision this is after he tried to scare sam and sam snapped on him um right here it says instead of being a terrible monster he would become a wonderful friend so think about how he changed from the beginning to the end what you can say about that that didn't mean he could he couldn't try to scare his friend every now and then all right so i want you to think about how instead of being a terrible monster he became a wonderful friend how that what that tells you about how leonardo changed and i want you to tell me one way that he changed come up with one word that would show how he changed from the beginning of the story to the end of the story what could you say about leonardo at the end of the story all right you're going to share that on seesaw and i can't wait to hear about it okay all right bye guys